I want to munch. I want to munch. Munch, munch, host. Do host, we've got host. Munch. Okay. The Welcome Munch Squad. It's a. It's a podcast within a podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. Sunset. In area, it's sunset yeah, sun years. setting, I believe. Yeah, it's in the twilight years of this bit. <laughs> Until I come up with a better bit, <laughs> which you wouldn't think would be that hard. But here we are. KFC is going to introduce new signature dipping sauce Ooh. nationwide on October 2nd. 12th and as the crow flies my friend that is possibly the day you're listening to this Kentucky Fried Chicken announced Thursday that it is launching a new signature dipping sauce that's sure to make fried chicken fans rejoice oh. introducing KFC sauce hmm. Hmm. that's a signature sauce that's tangy and sweet cool. with a bit of smokiness sp- Specifically designed to pair with crispy tenders. It kind of seems like they threw a lot of flavor words in there, huh? That's great. You get umami, umami, and umami <laughs> mixed up in there. Yeah. I like it. Uh, when we set out to create a new signature sauce, we went right to the experts, our customers. Whoa. To now, find now out. hold on. <laughs> I've eaten a KFC, and I'll tell you right now, I am not. You're a fucking tourist. I, Don't call yourself a KFC customer. I mean, I... Well, there was a time in my younger years. Oh, sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where you could, we went to our customers to find out what made a sauce best in class for dipping. It needs to be I, viscous. Yeah, it can't be so wet that it just runs right off the tender. But also not too solid. No, I want to be able to put the tender in. The tender has to be able to enter the spicy liquid. <laughs> it is weird to think that dipping... The physical act of dipping was the primary concern, not the eating that would follow. No, no, no. That's secondary. If you get that primary thing wrong and you you either can't get the Tendo in there or the Tendo don't pick nothing up, well, after that, friend, what it tastes like don't mean nothing. Uh, That's from Andrea Zahaminsky, the chief marketing officer of KFC US. You know what? A lot of times they put the chief marketing officer in these things, and I kind of find that frustrating because, like, their whole job is to sell stuff, so how can I know I can trust yeah, them? Yeah, right. You know? wow. Give me, give me the s- head of R and D. Yeah, I want a, I want an impartial person that doesn't care if I eat it or not to bring me my news. You know, I'm just trying to get me to eat. I want to, I want to know what flavors they tried to put in the sauce, but couldn't quite make yeah. it work. I want to know their shortcomings. Well, the our, our first idea was chicken flavored sauce. We figured let's enhance it, so we just ground right. up a bunch of chicken. It's just like eating the chicken you know, <laughs> except much wetter. But then the problem was people just slurped the sauce and they left the salad chicken alone and we said this is too dangerous for any one man to have. <laughs> They came in and said they don't want the chicken anymore. They just want the sauce. It was too powerful. We had we buried it in a bunker underneath our HQ, where it shall remain and be studied by Un- top men until Rick and Morty does a fucking hysterical chicken sauce episode. <laughs> Andrea continued. We went through fifty iterations, and what? the response to this recipe was overwhelming. I'm assuming that response was, "Please stop making me eat this fucking <laughs> sauce." <laughs> Just let me see my family. Let me sleep, for fuck's sake. (laughs) It's been 10 days. Beginning October 12th in all KFC U.S. restaurants. What a logistical effort this is. Fried chicken dipping fans, which apparently exists, uh, can enjoy the new signature KFC sauce, along with a newly revamped core sauce lineup of classic ranch honey BBQ and honey mustard, in addition to KFC hot sauce. Yes, oh, thank God. I was afraid you weren't going to say the hot sauce, you know? Yeah. Those who love dipping do indeed take sauces seriously. Some going so far as to deem chicken an edible spoon for sauce or a vessel for flavor. Oh. That's a fucking sentence from this rest release. I kid you That's not. Good. Hey, why did you guys stop hanging out with Derek? 
Oh, you'll never believe the bullshit he said. <laughs> I know you know Derek says a lot of bullshit, but the other day we were eating fried chicken and he said, yum, yum, edible spoon vessel, flavor, flavor vessel. And I had to get the fuck out of there as fast as I could and get the I kids out. I haven't seen him since. I left, I left Jean there. I haven't seen her since. I don't know what happened to her. I don't. I miss my wife. I'm so scared. For, for many, forgetting the sauce is a meal ruiner. In a recent survey from DoorDash, 75% of Americans say their meal is ruined if the sauces are forgotten. Oh, boy. And 20% say sauce is the single most important part of a great fried chicken meal. Okay. Sometimes I just get a bag of sauce. (laughs) Can you imagine being put into a position where you, a human being on the earth, has to try to come up with an opinion about the most important part of a great fried chicken meal? Um. Yeah, it's the chicken. It's the it's chicken. Flavor, Everybody's the chicken. The flavor it's of the, the chicken, chicken, how good it tastes to eat it. I let me. Okay, listen. I like dipping. I I don't know who the profile of this person is. I don't know who this person is who's like, oh, why do I get a fried chicken? Thank you so much for asking. Uh, I like to put it into things. Yeah, I like to. I like how it's a spoon you can eat, and I'm a dirt bag. Luckily for those who love dipping. Oh. KFC's Extra Crispy TM tenders are perfectly designed for dipping and L in the sense that they're edible yeah. and physical. Uh, they're perfectly designed for dipping and elevate the overall sauce experience. The hills and valleys created by KFC's Extra Crispy Breading <laughs> form up. little lakes of sauce on every tender, <laughs> making the final bite crispy, crunchy, and bursting with flavor. And, you know, if you're eating KFC, it may very well be the final bite. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so who knows? But the wild topography of these crunchy boys. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a hidden cavern full of delicious <laughs> sauce. Oh, and a dragon's gold. Just, I'm Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> Observe the gazelle as it <laughs> gallops through the different nooks and crannies. Uh, to celebrate, this is, I, it is amazing. I'm at this point of this press release, and I'm not even the part that I was really excited about. To, cel- <laughs> to celebrate its new signature KFC sauce, KFC's head chef, Chris Scott, created three KF charcuterie oh, boy. recipes. Yes. Oh, boy. You can yes. try it. Yes, I was waiting for it. So far, I was like, this is informative and interesting, but not that wild. Where's the actionable part? Where's yeah. the part that I can do at home? Well, good news from chef Chris Scott. Uh, <laughs> who under K- duress developed these recipes. <laughs> yeah. K- he has, as terms of his resignation, <laughs> created who, as his final act. Who upon the KFC submitting his charcuterie recipes was handed a vial of the antitoxin for his family. <laughs> he printed it on the back of his resignation <laughs> letter. K- their KFC charcuterie, it doesn't trip off the tongue, but you get the idea, right? KFC charcuterie. Yeah, okay. Board recipes you can try at home. <laughs> Charcuterie doesn't have to be all cold cuts, cheeses, and crackers. No, sure. It can also be delicious comfort foods like extra crispy tenders, secret recipe fries, and indulgent sauces. That's just a meal. Yeah. That's that's one of Colonel Sanders' standard meals. You know, charcuterie doesn't have to be meat and cheese. Sometimes it could just be a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it can be a child's laughter. <laughs> or uh, just some loose grass you picked up from the yeah. ground and sprinkled on someone's car. Char- charcuterie doesn't have to be all cold cuts. It could be watching half of episode two in your hotel room while you're drunk. <laughs> it could be anything. It could be a fucking Toyota Yaris. Get out of here. <laughs> They are both fun to create and to eat. And I know around my house, we are definitely in need of some creative ways to break up the monotony of meals at oh home. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, so my we're fucking kids. KFC charcuterie. Oh, oh, my fucking kids. Oh, my partner. Oh, it's so fucking boring. <laughs> Please, the KFC. Process, the process and assembly of a charcuterie board have become a creative outlet for many and has recently become a social media phenomenon. On TikTok. Oh. Videos associated with the hashtag, hashtag charcuterie, have been viewed more than 224.8 million times. And many popular charcuterie creators have gained notoriety for their elaborate and mouthwatering creations. You know what? I'm going on TikTok right now. If you see Trav, Trav, Trav. 
If you see uh-huh. anyone doing a funny Fortnite dance on there, you make sure to let me know. I'm not seeing any KFC yet. Okay, let me just scroll down. Oh, Fortnite dance. Yeah, what's which one? I'll tell you, what I did see before I saw KFC was somebody making a McDonald's charcuterie board, and it looks like they figured that one out all on their own without any recipes. <laughs> they didn't need a press release or anything. Huh. Here's a Chick-fil-A charcuterie board. Oh, no. What's on, what's on that? Uh, Chick-fil-A <clears throat> food. And a little oh, New Testament. Okay. I wish it was easier to keep track of whether or not it was permissible to eat Chick-fil-A at any given moment. Just go ahead and assume no. Yeah. That's a safe assumption, isn't it? Um, One easy way to remember how to find this podcast is just go to kfcrcuterie.com. Oh, Justin. And you're going to find that I fucking snagged it from them. But, and I, no, you know what? I'm going to make it redirect to Bojangles. I just oh decided my that God, instead. Justin. I'm going to do that. Or Zaxby's. No, you know what? Zaxby's. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. The charcuteries are the KFC Little Dipper, a snackable com- combination of KFC Extra Crispy Chicken Tenders, secret recipe fries paired with your favorite dipping sauces. So that's just... A meal. A meal. A meal. Yeah. From KFC. Yeah, a meal. And with a Sprite on the side. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, there's also the Kentucky Game Night Trio. That's Kentucky Fried Buffalo Wings. Okay. KFC Extra Crispy Tenders and Secret Recipe Fries complemented by KFC Sauce and grocery items huh. like blue cheese, fresh celery, and more. <laughs> It's an, it's an admission that with a little bit of work and some products from your local grocery store, you could make this palatable. Um, Listen, we've talked a lot of shit about KFC, but KFC, if you want to partner with me for like a Travis McElroy meal, like a brand like Travis McElroy, he's pretty cool. And we're going to make a meal that is, this is what Travis McElroy eats when he comes to KFC. I will happily do that. I, w- I will do that. Please. This isn't. You have not done the legwork on Yum Brands, Travis. I don't, I don't, no, I don't know how to tell you this, but you have not done the kind of research into Yum Brands that you would need to. Oh, are you saying you have? To commit to something like that. Oh, are they, sh- I, wait, Justin, are they shitheads? Everybody is. Oh, man. Twist. Ugh. Uh, so that's the that's the scoop on the KF charcuterie. Uh, you can make that at home. I guess what they're saying, what they're really saying with this, if if I could just be so bold, what they're really saying with this is, put it on a plate. Yeah, put it on a plate, and you'll feel better about a how wooden are going. a wooden plate. Maybe. Uh, and I, uh, this is going to mean different things to different people. Arrange it. Okay. Interesting. Speak on that. What, what so I Travis do... just explain how to do that in a way that screams class. Uh, I would take the tenders and kind of do them in like an alternating like log tower, like you would uh, perhaps Jenga, maybe. Oh, and that's going to look pour, real good. And then just pour the sauce down the middle so it fills it up. Okay. That's funny, Trav. Yeah. And then put a little roof on top of it and then maybe sprinkle it. Uh, this is, I don't know how this will work with it, but like with icing sugar, so it looks like a snowy wonderland, and then maybe add some Ugh. little like marshmallow snowmen, oh, um, maybe glue some M&Ms on there, uh, a little Santa Claus. What were we talking? 